Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Friday the 27th of November. As we come together, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now, as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise to ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Give me the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see. The saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be. Once they were mourning here below and wet their couch with tears, they wrestled hard, as we do now, with sins and doubts and fears. I asked them whence their victory came, they with a united breath ascribed their conquest to the Lamb, their triumph to his death. They marked the footsteps that he trod, his zeal inspired their breast, and from their incarnate God possessed the promised rest. Our glorious leader claims our praise with his own pattern given, while the long cloud of witnesses shows the same path to heaven. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 146. The Lord shall reign forever. Alleluia, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will pray, sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have, their God of, have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong, and bread to those who hunger. The Lord loosens those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord shall reign forever. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 147. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. Alleluia! How good it is to make music for our God! How joyful to honour him with praise! The Lord builds up Jerusalem, and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted, and binds up all their wounds. He counts the numbers of the stars, and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord all to, with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heavens with clouds, and prepares the rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains, and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food, and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praises to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders, and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He, he gives snow like wool, and scatters the hoar frost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the water flows. He declares his word to Jacob. <coughs> 
his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt with all uh, with any so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. Our Old Testament reading is the continuation of the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. The oracle concerning the valley of vision. What do you mean you have gone up, all of you, to the housetops, that you are full of shouting, tumultuous in the city, exalted town? You are slain are not slain by the sword, nor are they dead in battle. Your rulers have all fled together. They were captured without the use of a bow. All of you were found, uh, were found were captured, though they had fled far away. Therefore I said, "Look after, uh, look away from me. Let my weep, let me weep bitter tears. Do not try to comfort me for the destruction of my beloved people. For the Lord God of hosts has a day of tumult and trampling and confusion in the valley of vision, a battered down, a battering down of walls and a cry for help to the mountains. Elam bore the quiver." with chariots and cavalry, and Kir uncovered the shield. Your choicest valley was full of chariots, and the cavalry took their stand at the gates. He, was taken, he has taken away the covering of Judah. On that day you looked to the weapons of the house of the forest, and you saw that there were many breaches in the city of David, and you collected the waters of the lower pool. You counted the houses of Jerusalem, and you broke down the houses for, uh, to fortify the wall. You made a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but you did not look to him who did it, or have regard for him who planned it long ago. On that day the Lord God of hosts called to the weeping and mourning, to boldness and putting on sackcloth, but instead there was joy and festivity, killing oxen and slaughtering sheep, eating meat and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. The Lord of hosts has revealed himself in my ears, Surely this iniquity will not be forgiven, forgiven you until you die, says the Lord God of hosts. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizen of heaven, we have come before God who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God, to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Our New Testament reads a continuation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 2 to 19. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word to his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered him, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaking the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go to see? A prophet? Yes. I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who is to prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violence takes it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came. And if you're willing to accept it, he is Elijah who has come. Let anyone with ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace calling to one another. 
We played the flute for you, but you did, you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. But John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He has a demon. The son of man comes eating and drinking. And they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We give thanks for your wisdom, for your guidance, for your understanding. As we approach this weekend, be with us in all our endeavours. Guide us, help us, mould us to your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all your saints. We pray for all who have led good and holy lives, that they may be examples to us, that they may be a guide for us. We give thanks for all that you have, all the saints who have given us a glimpse of your kingdom. May we be mindful of their examples. May we emulate them and look to your Son as our model. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray all for all who are being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are infected with the virus. We pray for those who are in self-isolation. For those who are in quarantine. Those who are shielding. And those in lockdown. We pray for those who are in hospital and those who have died. Lord, be with us, we pray. Help us to endure, to be patient and to wait for that time when we can gather again. We pray for all those who are in isolation. We pray for our friends and our family who are far from us. We pray for those who are away, who are unable to return. We look forward to being able to gather with our families again in safety and security. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for this country. We pray for all who are living in uncertainness. For those who are of fear of partners or friends. For those who are isolated from family. For those who are the victims of domestic violence. For those who are sleeping rough. We pray too for those who are using the food bank. For those who are so desperately in need of sustenance. We pray for those who are volunteering at the food banks and for those who are helping to donate to it. We pray for those children who will struggle through the winter. 
and for those parents who will make sacrifices for their children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we ask for wisdom, humility and guidance for the government, for Parliament and all who are placed in authority. We pray that compassion will not be removed in the, for the expense of political expediency. We pray that they will work for the good of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. In a moment of stillness we offer to God those who weigh upon our hearts this day. We pray in particular for those who are known to us and those who have been asked for prayers by name. Davy, Megan, Ronnie, Susanna, Jim and Shelley. We pray for all who are worried about them, all who care for them. We pray for all who are hospitalised at this time. We pray especially for those who are awaiting treatment and awaiting diagnosis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bonds of peace, which and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Unite our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me this Sunday at 9.30 for our streamed Eucharist, um, which will be onto both the Facebook pages and will then be loaded onto YouTube straight afterwards. Next week, morning and evening prayer will be at 9 and 5 every day, Monday to Friday. And next Sunday, we will be regathering in person in church. Hurrah! Uh, at 8 o'clock um, next week and then onwards uh, all through as the usual but I shall give you more of that as we get closer to that date uh, so hopefully I'll see some of you on Sunday um, and uh, I hope as we begin Advent you'll be preparing yourselves for Christmas and for the arrival of our Saviour Jesus Christ which is a joyful thing but until we can see each other again God bless, stay safe and have a very good weekend <laughs>